Praise God. I'm excited to be back with y'all tonight. Y'all may be seated. Praise God. I want to, I didn't talk about anything this morning about the book table. I just wanted to bring a couple things up and uh, show you guys. We have um, one by my mother, um, Believing for Miracles, Amen. that we've never seen before. Amen. I believe that uh, you need to get this and listen to it. It'll be a blessing. Um because we have to have a vision of it. Yes, we do. And yes. If we don't, we can't, we can't never get it if we don't have a vision of it. Right. Um, the next one is my mom's supernatural prayer life. Amen. And she goes in here, and um, some of the, the contents are very good. You know, like one that would work good for me is quieting the mind. Amen. You know, sometimes you can find it hard to really quiet your mind. And uh, this book is kind of a help to kind of pinpoint and show you through some stuff, you know, Amen. and uh, and just chapter five. I mean, just I was in the back and I was just reading a little bit, you know, and I said, you know what, that's pretty good for my mom, you know. That's, that's <laughs> but um, it it's a I th I believe that this will be a blessing to you to help you to guide you because sometimes you don't even know what you're doing or what you're praying for you just like I'm just praying and you don't even know what you're doing yeah. and that's okay but we, we need some guidance amen yeah. and then there's one by my wife cast your care not your expectation amen. and uh, I know this will be a blessing uh, all these would one thing about our publications department I mean it's seven dollars you know I mean and it, if it if if you get some answers for right. seven bucks. I mean, Amen. come on. That's right. seven. Yeah. Yeah. Um, That's right. One thing about at this point with our publications department, it, it doesn't pay for itself. Yeah. It doesn't. So what you guys buy isn't covering, you know, the cost of running that department. Mm -hmm. right. Our goal is to be a blessing. Amen. Yes. We want you guys to be overcomers in life. Amen. We're, it's not about money for us. Sure, it helps to pay salaries and stuff like that. And then, you know, this stuff takes money, the machines to make sure, this stuff, yeah, all that yeah. stuff. Shipping it, these books are heavy. Yeah. You get, you know, five and ten of these, all of a sudden, it adds up. Yeah. Right. So, um, I encourage you, go back there. We didn't bring it to push you to buy it. If you don't want it, then don't buy it. Yeah. But, um, you have to see it from a place of, do, do I need this? Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. Not, well, they're, they just want to sell stuff because they're making money. No, we don't make any money. That's right. It just goes back into the yeah. ministry. Yeah. You know, it just goes to pay for Amen. the things. Uh, you, you know, we have a full-time person, and this is all they do. Yeah. And uh, they put this stuff up and things like that. And, uh, you know, I have been changed by other ministries and their media department. Yeah. yeah. I've been changed. Amen. And I believe that our department uh, can change your life. Yes. 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 Amen. So I encourage you go back there. Don't be a tightwad. Get it. It goes back into the ministry, and uh, it's a blessing. Amen. 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 Father, we love you. Yes. We thank you, Father. We worship you. We thank you, Father, for revelation tonight. Father, I ask you to open up their spirits to the word. I thank you, Father, for your utterance. That my mouth is not my own, but I, I commit it to you, Father. And I thank you, Father, that as your word is being preached, miracles are happening. People's lives are being changed. Healings are coming to pass. Amen. And I thank you, Father, for the opportunity to, to serve you and to preach your word. And I love you very much. We thank you. Amen. 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 Praise God. Praise God. Well, this morning we talked about about the blood yes. and the stripes, yes. what the stripes mean, what it does in our lives. It is so important that we have revelation because he said, my people perish for a lack of knowledge. People are sick. Christians are sick because they lack knowledge. They lack the revelation or they lack the effort to put in to receive healing in their Amen. lives. And tonight, I want to go a different way on something that the Lord has given me and has been just a real blessing in my life. And um, I want to speak on humility. Good. Humility is something that is um, not mentioned a lot. 
you know, things about humility, and it can sometimes get overlooked. But humility is something that God put in place. Because if you don't have humility, the opposite is, is pride. And when you have pride, you can't be told what to do. You know better than everybody. There's no submission. You think you know it all. And we know, where was the first traces of pride? Where did it come from? Satan. You know, he got a little bit of pride, and he was in heaven, and got thrown out. And then came through this world and has impregnated people with it. And they've ran with it. But a Christian... When you're born again and you want revelation and you want help and you need healing in your life, you're willing to put down what we would call your pride or pride, you know, and submit to God. It's very important that we learn to be humble. Humility, I wrote this down a while ago and the way God said it to to me, humility and then heal. Humility and then heal. Humble and then heal. Mm-hmm. Amen. 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 Let's go to James 4 6. Right, and I want you to ask the question to yourself because I have to ask myself Lord, do I have pride in my life? Mm-hmm. Do I have pride in my life? Mm-hmm. Do I have things in my life? Did you know pride is kind of like a weed? Yeah. Yeah. No matter what you do to kill it, <laughs> it's going to want to come back. <laughs> Amen. Amen. And pride is one of those things, especially in men, we see a high level of pride of who they are. Or the culture. We know there's cultures that are very prideful. Yeah. You know, we're Italian or we're Irish, you know, and this is the way we are. We're this way. You can't change it. We're dramatic. That's just who we are. We're over the top. We're this. We're that. But you're basing it off of a culture. And when you become born again, you need to apply it to the new, (laughs) to to living under the way of of God. Amen. Amen. And so tonight we're going to look at some of these things and I hope it'll stir you and you'll look at yourself yes. Amen. and judge yourself. All right. You need to judge yourself. Because yes. if you don't, then you're walking in pride. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 All right. Are you there? Yeah. James 4, 6. But he gives more grace. Therefore, he says, God resists the what? Pride. The pride. He resists it. That means he pushes it away. He won't have it. God resists the proud. But gives more grace to who? The humble. The humble. The humble. humble. Let's go down to seven. Therefore, submit to God. A lot of people don't like to submit. They have a problem. Resist the devil and he'll flee from you. Draw near to God and he will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinner, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. Number ten. Humble yourself in your sight. No. No. (laughs) I was going to get y'all there. Hey, you'd be like, yeah, amen. (laughs) Humble yourself in the sight of who? The Lord. And what's he going to do? He's going to lift you up. But you have to humble yourself that lines up with the word of God. That's right. I'm not in the ministry for money. I'm not in the ministry because, frankly, I would rather be in construction or doing something else in life. I'm not saying that I don't enjoy the ministry, but what I'm saying is the reason I'm here is to be a blessing. I'm here to bless people. And I told people, if they don't want me, I ain't going to ever ask nobody. I don't ask people to come preach for me. I never have. And I'm not going to. Because if they don't want me, I don't want to go. (laughs) Amen. And I find it an honor that people would actually have me come to to minister to their people. Yeah. It's a real honor, and, yeah. it, and it's a real blessing. Yes. Amen. 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 And um, I didn't have to pray about coming here. When he yeah. told me, I said, hey, it bears witness with my heart. We're in covenant. 
I'm coming. Yeah. Amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if I got from somebody else, I take it before God and I say, Father, what do you want me to do? You know, because I want to do what you want me to do. I'm not just going to go places just because I have pressure or something right. like yeah. that. Amen. I won't do it. Amen. 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 So it's important. Thank you, Lord. It's important that we follow the leading of the Holy Ghost. Amen. 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 All right. It is. How are you successful? How is any Christian continuously successful? It's by grace. Yes. Yes. By the grace of God. Yes. That's why he says, but I'm giving more grace. What is grace? Provision, healing, everything you need is in, in, in the grace. Good. It's in the grace. Yes. But there's other people that have a little bit of pride in them. Mm -hmm. and, they're, and they're proud of who they are. They're proud of their children. They're proud of who this is and they're proud of this. You have to be very careful right. about this word pride. True. You know, and the more I've jumped into this, I've asked God, I said, God, you're going to have to help me to understand it. And Father, if I see pride in my life, I ask you to help me to see it. Yes. Because I don't want it in my life. That's right. It's sneaky. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's yeah. sneaky. Yeah. And it, it, it can get on you and don't, you don't even realize. It's true. You ever, somebody ever said something to you and it just went off on you and it made you mad. <laughs> and, but it wasn't mad because... They, you, they were necessarily right or wrong, but you just didn't like it. Yeah. I don't like the way you talk to me. Right? Yeah. <laughs> you know, you shouldn't talk to me like that. Right. Why? That's right. Why? Yeah. Because of pride. Right. Yeah. It's, it's a pride thing. Yeah. And when it comes to the Word of God, I be, believe people have a, 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 I, I say people, I include myself, <laughs> is sometimes we can have this reserved pride. We can smile and say, that's right, but inside we're like, wrong. Yeah. <laughs> uh, not for me. That's not me. That's not me. And that's what we have to be careful of because a lot of times we go, that's not me. But really, it could be you. It could be you. You could have things in your life that aren't right. That the way you talk to your wife, the way you do things at, at a job, the way you think about your employer, those things, I know more than him. Oh, do you? Do you? Do you? And all of these are based off of pride. Yes. Yeah. And when the devil can get into your life and insert pride, he can rob you of blessings that you're supposed to have. Yes. Amen. 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 Come on. Amen. When you're prideful, you lose a let me say this right, a sincerity for the word of God. Mm. Yeah. Uh -huh. Because sincerity yeah. is so submissive. And it's yeah. so loving that it wants more of God and it, it wants to be wrong and learn from the mistakes that it made. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Ephesians 5 2. Good preaching. Ephesians 5 2. And it says here, and walk in love as Christ also has loved us and given himself for us. As what? An offering and a sacrifice to God of what? A sweet smelling aroma. Is pride a sweet smelling aroma? <laughs> it's not. It's not. It carries a level of superiority on it. It puffs its chest out. It knows more than anybody. There is somebody that I'm thinking of right now that has struggled with this, um, with pride, and it has robbed them of a job. It has robbed them of finances. It has robbed them of everything. And they continue to be a glutton for punishment mm -hmm. and come back for more. Mm -hmm. And they just get beat up because they believe that they shouldn't be where they're at. Mm -hmm. yeah. And they don't see it. Yeah. They don't see that their pride is withholding everything that they need. Yes. Yes. Healing, yeah. finances. Yes. I mean, they need some things turned around in their life, but yeah. they don't see it. Yeah. Why, why don't they see it? It's pride. Pride. Yeah. pride puts a, a, a glaze over so good. the word of God. Amen. And you can't see it correctly. That's right. And you believe that things are owed to you. 
well, why is I, why am I not healed? Yeah. I I give in to this person. Why didn't it work work for me? Mm. Why this? You better not not do that. That's right. very dangerous. Yeah. 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 Pride is a rocker. Yes, yeah. it is. We should always be looking for pride in our lives. Mm. You know, yeah. everybody likes to be first, right? Yeah. Don't we all like to be first in line? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't you like to be first in line? Yeah. <laughs> don't Don't you like that? Don't you like to be somebody that's first at the light? And you like to be first yeah. in the drive-thru. Yeah. You like to be first at the checkout. Yeah. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. <laughs> but is that the case? No. 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 And sometimes somebody cuts in front of you or something, what do you get? Angry. Yeah. You get upset. Yeah. Yeah. Why are you upset? Pride. It's pride. pride. It's okay. <laughs> you know, and, and I, I was at the urgent care. And you're like, why did you at the urgent care, brother Stephen? <laughs> I have a CDL, a commercial driver's license for a, a big rig. I had to go get physical, so I wasn't there for reasons. <laughs> and when I was there, you know, I was there before the place opened. And there was a lady with her little kid, you know, and I was kind of back from the door, probably about, you know, this far away from the door. And the place hadn't opened yet. And she came in, you know, she came in and stood by the door. You know, and I'm standing there, you know, you would think, hey, I was here first. It would be courtesy to let me go first since yeah. I was here before you. That wasn't the case. <laughs> <laughs> so when the doors open, what'd she do? I got first in and I said, you know what? That's all right. <laughs> that's all right. But my flesh said, you know what? That's not all right. <laughs> we was here first. We should be first. And I'm like, you know what? It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. She's got other issues in her life. You know what? You go right ahead. Go right ahead. Because this is training. Even though you think, well, that's not a big deal. That's not a big deal. It is a big deal. It is a big deal because you're training yourself. Yes. You know what? I'm going to let them go. Yeah. Because pride says, no, nah, no, you ain't. <laughs> Step back. Yeah. Yeah. Me yeah. first. <laughs> and every great minister that I've met that has had such an impact is a very humble person. That's true. Yeah. I've noticed that. Yeah. Yes. And I've noticed God runs around with humility. Yeah. Yeah, he does. You don't run around with prideful people. That's good. Yeah. That's so, good. Good. so if you see somebody that is very cocky and arrogant, I guarantee you God ain't hanging out with them. Amen. And I said, Father, I want you hanging out with me. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I want you in my life. That's yeah. good. So I need to be humble yeah. Yeah. because I need sure. you to manifest in my life. Amen. Amen. You know, because I, I would have, let's say I was cocky. I'm at the friend's son. And you know, my dad had a healing anointing. Yeah, and I got that same anointing. But you know, I, I, I don't ever say that. It's an honor. And I say, Father, if you don't want me to have it, I don't mind. I'll do whatever you want. Yeah. <clears throat> but that's why, who is the grace going to? The humble. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. And I always want to make sure that I use it correctly. Yes. I want to, to present myself correctly. Right. I want to do what God wants me to do. I don't want to ever use it for my benefit. Right. Amen. right. Yeah. It's very important that we're very diligent mm -hmm. with yeah. what God's given us. Yeah. And I, right. it, it's an honor and a yeah. privilege. That's right. And I never use it to benefit me. Amen. Yes. A sweet smelling aroma. A sweet smelling aroma. Mm. That's good. That word right there is very precious to me because it matters what you, I say, smell like. It does matter what you yeah. smell like. Yeah. <laughs> but it also matters it sure does. the aroma that you give off. Yes. Yeah. When you're around other people. Yeah, that's right. Can't there be an aroma of love around you? Yes. An aroma of understanding? Yes. An, a, an aroma of grace? Yes. yes. Say, you know what, brother? That's not a problem. You know, an aroma of love. Yes. That's good. And you can have, on the other hand, an, an aroma of, I don't care. <laughs> and you know what? You messed up, and you're going to pay for it now. Yeah. Uh-huh. But Every to be... The Bible says you need to be more like Jesus. Yeah. And I believe Jesus was very understanding and he was very humble and he was gracious to people. Yes. 
Yeah. I mean, there was a lady, we know the whole thing, she was caught in the act. Yes. I mean, okay, what was she caught in the act of? <laughs> having <laughs> adultery, having an affair. Mm -hmm. Somebody walked in on that. Yes. She got caught. Yeah. That's what they said. Right. What is it true? It is true because Jesus told her, he said, go and sin no more. No, no more. more. So obviously, if it wasn't true, you'd be like, look, I, I, I know they put you up to this, right. but she, <laughs> she was doing the naughty with someone else's husband, <laughs> and she shouldn't have been. <laughs> and Jesus, what did he do? He wrote in the dirt yeah. things, and everyone started leaving. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. And then they left, and then there was just him and her, and he says, go and sin no more. Yeah. yeah. Because of love. Amen. Right. It's love. Amen. 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 They're going to kill her. Mm -hmm. yeah. They're going to stone her. They're going to kill her good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but Jesus is a loving Jesus. And he's tender hearted. Yes. Yes. And so when you see people messing up, yes, people do mess up. And they sometimes they come back for more. They, they, they want to mess up more. And you're like, bro, you got to stop messing up. <laughs> but you know what? That's not always the case. And we have to be humble enough to realize, you know what? If Jesus loves them. Yeah. And there's people yeah, in, in our church, and I go, and Morgan, she's very compassionate about people, and she wants people to do good, and sometimes she gets frustrated out of love, because, you know, these people right. aren't listening. Right. They're not yeah. listening, and they're not doing what I told them to right. do, yeah. and they're, you know, they're really in a bad place. Yeah. And, and I said, honey, honey, I said, just love on them. Yeah. Yeah. Just give them God. Just tell them what the Bible says, and leave it at that. Yeah. yeah. Amen. Yeah. And so it's so important that at, at, as this church, I believe a lot of people that are not saved have not met a real Christian. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. I believe there is Christians. There's a lot of Christians. Mm -hmm. But what's a real Christian? Yeah. Like? Yeah. Yeah. That's good. And I believe if more unsaved people saw a real Christian, yeah. our churches yeah. would be more filled up. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. 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 Yes. Amen. Yeah. Is a real Christian supposed to be the same yesterday, today, and forever? Yeah. Yes. yes. You're supposed to be consistent, yes. loving, yes. understanding. Yep. Yes. Yeah. Yes. But not a lot of Christians are. No. Right. <laughs> we're up. We're down. We're mad. Yes. We're cool. Yes. Good day. Bad day. Yes. It's a good day today. Next day's bad day. Yeah. Bad day. <laughs> and yes, we are human. We are human. And those things come to all of us. But it matters the aroma mm -hmm. yeah. that we give off every That's day. Right. Yeah. That's right. It matters. Yeah. It matters. And it matters to God. If you want more of God in your life, more humble. Mm -hmm. Amen. Right. Yeah. Good preaching. Come on. Amen. Amen. I want to go to Mark 9, 17. This is a scripture that I have just really clung to and have really uh, enjoyed going to. And the Lord really ministered. To me through it. It's Mark 9, 17. Let's back up to 14. And it says here, And when he came to the disciples, this was, uh, I'll just keep reading. And he saw a great multitude around them, and the scribes just dis disputing with them. Immediately when he saw him, all the people were greatly amazed and running to him, greeting him. And he asked the scribe, what do these discussions with, with them? And one of the crown, crowd answered and said, teacher, I have brought you my son who has a mute spirit. And wherever it seizes him, so we know that this young boy is having, has had seizures yeah. and is having seizures from the time he was young. It throws him down and he foams at the mouth, gnashes his teeth and becomes rigid. So I spoke to your disciples. Well, let's listen to that. Mm -hmm. I spoke to your disciples that they should cast it out. But what? But they could not. They could not. They could not. Now, this is Jesus' ministry team, and they're supposed to be a blessing. Yeah. <laughs> and obviously, they're having some issues. And this is something that 
we could all be victim to. Yeah. Yeah. Because I don't want to ever be wrongly laying on hands and with pride because you realize it's not going to work for you. Right. Yeah. But they could not. And he answered to him and said, Oh, faithless generation, how long should I be with you? So there comes the rebuking. Yeah. Yeah. How long shall I bear with you? Bring him to me. Then they brought him to him. And when he saw him, immediately the spirit convulsed him, and he fell on the, on the ground and wallowed and foamed at the mouth. Now, this is a visual thing going on here. I mean, the boy is falling apart right in front of Jesus. The, he, obviously, the disciples, each one, if he said, your disciples, how many was it, 12? Everyone laid hands on him. And nothing happened. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, they say, devil's out. And nothing happened. The boy falls on the floor, next on the team. Next one, here comes Peter. Devil's out. Here comes the ball. Anyway, and then we're going to go through all of them. And the next one's like, you give it a shot. Yeah. <laughs> Try it. Nothing happened. Right. This soul made Jesus look very good. No. Yeah. It's not working out too well. <laughs> no. Amen. Yeah. And he fell on the ground. So he asked his father, how long has he been like this? And he said, from childhood. So he's been like this his whole life. The father, you have to remember, if somebody is dealing with this day in and day out, you're constantly monitoring somebody for a good part of their life, yeah. it, in, it, it's ingrained in you. Yes. Yes. That sickness becomes part of your mindset. Yeah, yes. where, where is he? What's he doing? Has yeah. he fallen in the fire? Is he dead in the river? Yeah. Where is he at? Yeah. You're always mindset in that. Yeah. And when you've always dealt with sickness, it can be kind of tough to act like he's healed. Right. Because you've always dealt. I mean, you're bringing this boy. He's falling on the ground right in front of you. Right, right in front of Jesus. Yeah. Amen. You can't tell me something in the Father's head saying, what are we doing? Mm -hmm. Wasting our time. This is crazy. Mm -hmm. yeah. wow. We have to think from the Father's standpoint. Yeah. This is a serious deal that he's had from a childhood. Twelve disciples did nothing. Mm -hmm. And I'm bringing him to you. Could he have got upset when the twelve laid hands on him? Sure. Bunch of false people. Yeah. Twelve of y'all laid hands on him. Nothing happened. <laughs> I'm leaving. Yeah. Come on, dragging his son. Sure. But what does he need? He needs a miracle. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He needs a miracle. Amen. So he could have got upset. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve people. You can see how after twelve. You know what? I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave. But humility says, you know what? I need a miracle. Yeah. I don't care how many people you bring. I need my son to be healed. I need my miracle. Humility doesn't give up. Pride leaves because it believes that it's a lie. And pride will rob you of your miracle. Amen. Y'all being blessed so far? Okay. And he said from childbirth, or from childhood, and often he has thrown him in both in the fire and into the water to destroy him. But if you can do anything, anything, mm -hmm. but if you can do anything, have compassion on us and help us. Yeah. Help us. Yeah. Help us. Have compassion on us. Mm -hmm. Is Jesus going to have compassion? Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. And Jesus said to him, if you can, what? Believe. 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 All things are possible to who? Yeah. Him Believe. who yeah. believes. Believe. Immediately. Yeah. How fast is that? Yeah. I mean, just he, he's responded just as Jesus says that. Immediately the father cried out. He cried out. Do you see that? Yes. Yeah. Why is he crying out? Because the symptoms are screaming at him, but he's hearing the Messiah say something, and he's looking at the symptoms, but the Messiah is saying something, and he's yeah. saying, and he's crying out, and he said with tears, mm -hmm. yeah. this man has come for a miracle. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Amen. Amen. Lord, I believe, what? Help 
My unbelief. Help my unbelief. Help my unbelief. Why, why does he have unbelief? Because everything he's dealt with. That's right. Everything from, the, from when he was a child. He's dealt with this situation. It's robbed him of working. It's robbed the family of making money. They have to stay home. Sickness robs people yes, yes, of their yes. life. Yes, yes. It can either rob you or rob that person yes. of everything. Yeah. Yeah. I've seen people that they, they have to deal with paralyzed people. They can't do anything for themselves. They have to feed these people, yes. take care of it. It's a thief. Yeah. Yeah. It robs yeah. and it robs and it robs and it takes. Mm -hmm. And I hate sickness. Yes. Yeah. It's a terrible thing. It sure is. Yeah. Yeah. I've, I've been mildly I say mildly. I, I've had situations come in my life, and just the mildest things, I said, boy, if I was really sick, mm -hmm. I wouldn't want to live anymore. Mm -hmm. And I see that, I, 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 I see God has put in me something that to have, that sickness is so evil. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And just always living with the situation, yeah. it robbed you. Yeah. It robbed you. Yeah. It robbed you. You know, you can't eat this. You can't do that. I can't get this. I can't do that. It's a thief. Yeah. It's yeah. a thief. Yeah. And this man had been robbed of time of his life yeah. Yeah. for helping his son. It's not robbery, but you know what I mean. I mean, oh, he's, yeah. he has to help him. He's, he's right. basically always having seizures. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go back to 23. And, and Jesus said to him, if you can believe all things, are possible to him that believes. Immediately, the father of the child cried out and said with tears, Lord, I believe. Help my unbelief. Amen. Help my unbelief. Amen. I I say that to, to the father. I, I say, Father, if I'm in unbelief, you have to show me. Mm -hmm. Show me if I'm in unbelief. Yeah. Show me. Right. Because sometimes if somebody told me that I was in unbelief, I'd call them a liar. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I say, Father, if I am in unbelief, I don't know if you have to show me. Yeah. And this is where humility comes in because pride says, no, I'm believing. <laughs> and that's it. I'm believing. I'm doing the word. But Bible says, believe these things. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> but you could be missing it. Yeah. 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 And you could be missing it, say, and the Holy Spirit's trying to tell you, hey, you got some issues with your mother-in-law. And I can't bless you because faith works through love. And you're not walking in love. Yeah. There could be things in your life yeah. Yeah. that are seized because of pride. Right. Yeah. Because you think, no, that can't be it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, it's probably it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Humility shuts up because you're about to get correct. That's good. And you say, Father, show me what I've done wrong, what I'm doing so I can straighten myself out. And inside, you're saying, you need to apologize. <laughs> okay, I'll go apologize. Yeah. Because humility will apologize and be sincere about it. Not yeah. just like, you know what, I'm sorry. <laughs> and I'm sorry. You know, you, you really, tell them why you're sorry. You know what, I've seen the way I've talked to you. And I just want to know, I'm not really talking to you, but I'm just <laughs> <laughs> But I apologize for the way I acted. That's not, that's not like me. It comes from sincerity. Right. Yes. Yes. Exactly. Do you think God wants a, sin a sincere person or a person that puts on an outfit and a uniform where they act like they're Christian? Amen. Yeah. 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 A sincerity yes. gets faith to work. Good. Amen. Sincerity is what God can use. Yes. Amen. Amen. That's real good. And there, there's times that I've, I've, um, gosh, I've come and I've backed in. I apologize to. To my wife, I'm a very intense person, if you believe it or not. I'm a very intense person. I'm like, you know, I, I can get very tense, and my wife is very much of a floater. She can float, and she floats so much, I can't hardly get her out the door sometimes. And I realize it's beneficial. That has a place, and mine has a place, but I can see how I need to control. Just, well, that's, and you say, well, that's who I am. No, you need control who you are. Yeah, that's good. It doesn't matter. Just because you've done it for 30 years, that doesn't make you that you. Right. Right. That's who I am. That's what we do. Yeah. We worry. You know, when, you know, if my, if my kids are gone, we worry. Or we, 
you know, this is the way we do things. Are you sure that's the way you should be doing things? Uh, that's good. That's good. Is that, are you sure? That's good. Because in your mind, you as ingrained, your father told you this is who we are. Your mother told you this is who you are. This is what we believe. We don't put up with that garbage yeah. because this is who we are. Right. But when you come under the, right. under the word of God, oh, yeah. you come under a new level. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. And maybe it what it had pride in it from your family. Maybe it didn't. I don't know. But you better run it through the Word of God yeah. and see if it's right. Yeah, that's right. A lot of young people. This is why I don't mess with a lot of young people. Okay? <laughs> I don't mess with them. I didn't mess with Tim. I mess with Cameron a little bit because he asked for it. <laughs> I don't really mess with a, lo a lot of young people because they're unstable. <laughs> they can be very unstable. That's true. It's very unstable. Yeah. That's why I said old people like me. <laughs> they do. I like hanging out with old people. You know why? They're more stable. They 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 they've got beat up enough in their yeah, life, yeah. and yeah. I can get wisdom from that. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And it's so important because. Being in the ministry, I need to, to tame my outward man. I need to tame. That's good. I, I need to tame my mind. Right. That's good. That's good. I can't act in any way I want to act just because I yeah. feel like. No, that's and right. I, I have in the past. Don't get me wrong. I, I've done my fair share. But it's not right. It's not right. Isn't that right, Sam? It's right. Yeah. And, and the more you progress in the Word of God, you realize the things you did are not acceptable. They're not acceptable. That's right. Amen. Amen. You can't do the things you used to do because more is required. Right. Right. More is required through the Word of God. Right. With more responsibility, with great, with 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 God, when He gives great things, it comes to people that have great responsibility in the Word of God. Yeah, yeah. That's, good. that's good. That they're humble enough to ask God. That's good. What do I do with this? Right. What do you want me to do? Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. There was a, a story that Dad Hagen told. He told about a man that uh, he had a, a strong healing anointing. And I'm, I, I forget his name. I'm not sure. Uh, but he would get up during other people's messages and basically rebuke them and tell them, you're, full of, you're, you're just full of junk. You need to shut up and sit down. And it was really disrespectful. It, yeah. it was really wrong. Yeah. But he had a wonderful healing anointing. And Dad Hagen said, the Lord told him, you need to go tell him that he's going to die. Yeah. Yeah. He's going to die if you don't shut up. And he said, I ain't going to tell him because he'll hit you. You just move it out off the right face. <laughs> not like fight you, yeah. you know. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, he said, I'm not going to do it. And I, I think we were talking with Brother Richard Roberts, yeah. and he, he said his dad went and told his him. Dad, he yeah. said, you, you need yeah. to stop it. Yeah. Because very disrespectful. Mm -hmm. And Dad Hagen said, uh, our, the Lord told him, if you don't get this straightened out, you're going to die. Yeah. Sure enough, he died. Because mm -hmm. he couldn't get it straightened out. Mm -hmm. He had a, a, a tremendous healing in him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But he couldn't get rid of that physical yeah. man. He couldn't put it down. He could mm -hmm. have had a tremendous and continued to be a blessing to people, but he couldn't get over it. Mm -hmm. And this is why it's so important. Who is God giving his grace to? The humble. The humble. 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 The humble. And I want God's grace in my life. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Are y'all being blessed? Yes. Yes. Humility determines how much God can use you. That's right. Humility determines how much God can use you. If you don't get used much by God, you better ask why. Because there's probably reasons why. There's jobs that you ever seen men, and uh, boy, they're just rough guys. And they can't hold a job. Nobody wants them. They got issues. Yeah. Yeah. They have a problem with authority. Yeah. The boss is the problem. They don't pay me enough. They're ungrateful. Mm -hmm. This is all from a place of pride. Yes, yeah. 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 It's not from, from a place of pride. Yeah. And people say, well, they don't pay me enough. Well, you know what? Minimum wage was never meant to be lived on. Right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> You're supposed to go to the next level. Yeah. Right. Next level. Yeah. But everybody yeah. says, yeah. well, you owe me. Yeah. No, yeah. they don't. No, they don't. Well, maybe in this day and age, you can switch the law to benefit you, but really, it's not scriptural. No. Right. It's not scriptural. Amen. So if you want the God kind of prosperity, 
Come on. You have to get in line with the Word of God. Amen. Amen. It doesn't matter if your boss treats you right or not. My dad didn't treat me right sometimes, but you know what? I had to suck it up and do it. But I realized, hey, I'm learning. I'm learning. It's, it, it's uh, I'm, I'm getting the fast way. You know, more correction, more straightening. I'll be good off better, yes. you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. down the road. And he instilled a lot of things to me, and I praise God for it, and I'm very blessed. Amen. And um, But one thing when it comes to correction, my my, you can just get mad inside. You know, I don't want to be corrected. That's not right, you know. This is, but you have to shut up and say, does it bear witness with my spirit? Yeah. Yeah. Does that bear witness with my spirit? Yeah. And most of the time, mm-hmm. probably will. Yeah. Yeah. You know, amen. 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 There, there was a uh, situation we had a couple years ago, and a, mini- a minister called me, and he was very unpleased with me, very unpleased. He wasn't happy. And, um, you know, I, 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 I knew it was wrong when he was telling me. I said, this isn't right. And Morgan was really upset. He called her and really kind of got on to her about some things. And um, I, 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 I knew it was wrong. But I said, you know what, Father? I said, Father, if he's right, I ask you to tell me. Because if, if he is right, right, I need to change. Yeah. Sure. Right? Yeah. Because naturally, I mean, the circumstance was really the ball was in my court. And it really, like, he really didn't have a say in it. And I, I, I was really, you know, but I said, after the heat had settled and I quieted my mind for a minute, I said, Father, if I'm wrong, I ask you to show me. Because he could be right. It's possible. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Even though it sounds wrong to me, but maybe I'm clouded. Yes. Maybe I'm wrong. That's right. So I, we called mom and we told her the situation. And I said, uh, Nanny, if I'm wrong, I'll, I'll call him back and apologize. She said, Honey, you're not wrong. I said, okay. I just want to make sure. Right. Because right. I don't want there to be a division because of me yeah. right. Right. or right. something right. that I did. Yeah. Yeah. You know? That's right. That's right. I don't want to ever be the cause for somebody That's leaving a church right. or someone no. getting out of, yeah. of uh, the ministry okay. for any reason. And, you know, when when you're humble, you're able to forgive people. That's right. That's right. That's forgive people. That's right. That's, right. That's a big thing. What would rob you of healing, mm-hmm. it will rob you of the blessing, yes. is unforgiveness. Good. Yeah. Because Jesus had his disciples, and we know he was he was brought up before the people. And who who was it? Peter or John? And he said this is the guy that runs with Jesus. And he said, no, I'm not. Yeah. Right in front of Jesus. Yeah. Yep. No, this is him. They said, no, I'm not. Mm-hmm. And then he got up and he started screaming, I have never met this man in my life. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I have no idea who he is. Mm-hmm. And he started to, to curse him, curse the people and running off. You don't think that maybe you would want to get upset, the natural man, yeah. you know? Right. Oh, really? Because a minute ago, you was my buddy. Sitting next to me in the garden. Now you don't know who I am. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And after Jesus had come back from the dead, he said, Peter, do you love me? And he said, I love you. This is the compassion of Jesus. Yes. Yes. Do you love me? Yes. I love you. Amen. Peter, do you love me? He said, I love you. Then feed my sheep. Yes. And we have to understand the compassion of Jesus. Yes. Overrides what you think is yeah. correct for people. Yeah, that's right. good. It's not your yeah, judgment. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Don't you judge them. You judge them by the word of God. Yeah. Yeah. And, the, and, and the Bible says you forgive them mm-hmm. and move on. Yeah. Yeah. And even if you were wrong, it don't hurt you to apologize. Right. It don't hurt yeah. you. It's probably good for your flesh. That's right. You know what? If, if I upset you, I apologize. Right. I do. Mm-hmm. From, from a place of your heart, right. get before God before you say. Yeah. Yeah. Get before God. Yes. And this is a lot of times I see people got a lot of problems in their families with their parents. They don't forgive. And they wonder why faith doesn't work. Right? Yeah. Yeah. They, don't, they don't get it because of pride. It's good. I'm not going to say a, that, you know, because they did me wrong. It doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. It doesn't matter who is right and wrong. You're a fault because you won't get it right. Yeah. Yeah. right. right. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. It's important that we forgive people. Yeah. Yes. It's very important. Amen. And there's been some recent transactions with people that, oh, I wanted to get upset. You know, it, 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 it just, it just, what, it just irked me really bad. And I said, I said, Father, I know I'm not thinking right. And I said, Father, I ask you to help me to see him through your eyes. Yeah. Help me to see him through your eyes. Yeah. Help me to have compassion on him. 
because they struggle so much, Father. Yeah. And I ask you to help me to see it through your eyes. Yeah. And this is what humility does. It gets before God. It shuts up mm -hmm. and says, Father, how do you see them? Right. Mm -hmm. Help me to see them how you do. Amen. And it's so important for ministers to always develop compassion for people. Because we can get very frustrated because people don't listen. Right. A lot of people, I'll be honest, they don't listen. Yeah. Right. But that is that right with y'all or y'all listeners? Yeah. Okay. Y'all yeah. are listening. Yeah. And and we've seen people come and go and mom give them the word and they go, you know what, but I'm still living. Yeah. Okay. Right. That's fine. I still love you the same. Yeah. But the natural man wants to get offended, yeah. upset, right. you know. Yeah. I've been left high and dry. I've been left in places that I didn't want to be left, you know, with stuff that I shouldn't have been left with because, because the pressure people were under, mm -hmm. it, got tra it, it, it transferred to me. Yeah. 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 That pressure could be transferred to you because of the pressure on them. They can't handle it, so they dump it on you. Yeah. That's right. Mm -hmm. And so in that, you can get upset. Mm -hmm. But don't let yourself. Mm -hmm. You don't let yourself. It's good. It's good. Well, they shouldn't have done it. It doesn't matter. They did it. So shut up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Take it and move on. Yeah. Amen. 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 It doesn't matter what they did. What are you going to do with it now? Yeah. Right. Amen. Amen. Y'all being blessed? Yes. Yes. Second Kings 5 9. I know we're not jumping off the walls. Oh, okay. But you know what? Sometimes we need to. To change, and yeah. sometimes you got to shut up to change and be quiet. And so, yeah. Yeah. that's what we're going to do. So, here we got uh, Naaman, and he's got a disease. Now, this man is one of the head leaders in the army, and uh, when you're the head of stuff, you can get kind of uh, an Omi type place you know like I'm, I'm i'm the head and people look up to you and they they kind of worship you a little bit they you know they're they're crazy about you and you can develop an ego yeah and then naaman went with his horses and his chariot and stood at the door of elisha the prophet elisha's house and elisha sent a messenger to him now we see this he sent what a messenger. So he didn't come out. He didn't come out. To him saying, go and wash in the Jordan seven times. Why not just once? I don't know. <laughs> and your flesh shall be restored to you, and you shall be clean. But Naaman being what? Mine says furious. Furious. Went away. And said, indeed, I said to myself, he will surely come out to greet me. Mm -hmm. This man wants to be viewed as somebody important. Yes. Yes. Okay? Yes. But he has an incurable disease. Yes. Yeah. What does he need? Miracle. He needs a miracle. Yeah. Yeah. This man needs a miracle. But he believes he is owed to be worshipped a little bit. Yeah. To be honored who he is. Right. And Elisha says, I'm not coming out. Not only that, I'm going to send my messenger. Yeah. I'm going to send my servant out to tell you what to do. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so you can see that God is trying to help this man out because yeah. he's got some pride issues. Yeah. This is based on pride. Yeah. Yeah. Now, when you read this, apply it to yourself. See if this yeah. applies to yeah. you. Yeah. This isn't just a story in the Bible. This is The Bible is telling us this so we can evaluate our own life. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. But Naaman was furious. Have you ever been furious before? Yeah. Yep, I have too. <laughs> and went and said, indeed, I said to myself, he will surely come, uh, come out to me. And stood and called on the name of the Lord in God. And waved his hands over the place and healed the leprosy. So he's saying, why doesn't he come out to meet me? Wave his hand. And say you're healed, and I can go and do whatever I need to do. Mm -hmm. Okay? Now you have to remember, this man's been traveling on a chariot. Yeah. It's not shocks, it's not a paved road. This is a dirt road on horses with other people sitting in a chariot, standing up for days on end, hours on end. I don't know how long. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. So you could be a little irritated. Yeah. Right? Yep. But that don't give you a right just because you had a bad day. That's right. To act anyway. Come on. Yeah. Amen. 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 I apply that to my life. Yeah. Yes. You can't just act because, you know, something bad happened to you today. Yeah. You, you blew a tire. Does it give you a right to blow up? No. 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 It doesn't. Nope. You blew a tire. Now you have to pay for a tire that you wasn't expecting. So it ate into your bank account. You're upset. But that, it doesn't give you a right. Yeah. Yeah. Act any way you want. That's right. Amen. 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 So here he is. And he's saying, um, you know, he just wants him to raise his hand, come out. You're healed. We'll be on our way. Everything's good. And then he starts complaining about the river. <laughs> and he says, why not the whatever river and the other river and the rivers of Damascus? Better than all the waters of Israel. He's saying, you know what? These waters are even better. Why can't I just go to those? They're better than the Jordan. They're clean. I'll just go there. Okay? Of Israel. Or Damascus, better than all the waters of Israel. Could I not just wash in them and, and be clean? So he's saying this out loud to who? The servant boy. I mean, the servant boy just come up and tell him something. <laughs> so he turned, what did he do? So he what? He turned and went away in what? Rage. Rage. He's upset. Is, is he still sick? Yes. He's still sick. He's still sick? Yep. Could he have left and never got his healing? Yeah. Yeah. He could have. Yeah. Got upset. You know what? I'm out of here. I've had enough of this junk. I deserve. I deserve better. Yeah. I deserve it. I deserve yeah. respect. Yeah. I deserve it. Yeah. Yeah. Not in God's eyes he did it. Mm -hmm. Maybe he got it from everybody else, yeah. Yeah. but not from him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and maybe we're not a general of an army, but you can still have that same mentality. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Inside of you. You know, I kind of deserve. Yeah. I deserve. Yeah, that's right. Someone else got a bonus. You didn't. You, go, you know what? I, I deserve it. Mm. I don't know why. You better stop it. Yeah. Yeah. You better, better stop it. Right. Why? Why? Right. This is pride. Yes, yes. I work harder than them. I do better than them. You better shut up. Yes. You better shut up. Because it's going to disqualify you. Yeah. From what God has. Yes. Good. Good. Nobody owes you anything. It's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. The Bible says, make your own way prosperous. Yes, yes. Make your own way prosperous. Good. That's the Amen. welfare mentality. Well, I deserve it. You need to give this to me. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm owed it. Mm -hmm. No, you're not. Amen. Right. Amen. 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 That's good. Y'all being helped? Yes. yes. So he turned and went away in rage. Boy, I bet his face is all red, yeah. gnashing his teeth, <laughs> whipping them horses. Yeah. Horses get to bear the brunt. Yeah. Oh. Hey, hey, hey. Let's go. Yeah. He's upset. Yeah. Upset. Yeah. Whipping the horses. You know, maybe you come home and throw your keys on the counter. Same concept, you know. Yes. <laughs> and the servant, now let's get this next part. And his servant came near and spoke to him and said, uh, Father, if the prophet had told you to do something great, would you not have done it? And he starts thinking. And he says, and then the servant, we see the servant, okay? This is not somebody of high stature. Right, yeah. right. And then to do it, and he said, how much more then should he say to you, wash and be clean? Mm. So what did he do? He calmed himself down. Yeah. He said, you know what? I came all this way. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to leave yeah. without my miracle. Yeah. 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 If the prophet yeah. said do it, I'm going to do it. Yeah. 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 Amen. Amen. That's right. So he went down in depth, dipped, how many times? Seven, Seven times. I was saying, you, you, you better make a good, solid dunk. Right. You know, don't, don't cut corners. Yes. Like, like, just really dunk. You know, splash your head down really hard and fully submerge yourself. Because we're talking about your miracle. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. I mean, I'm just thinking that way. I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to cut corners and splash myself seven times. I yeah. said dunk. Yes. Come on. So yeah. I'm going to get, I'm going to take my clothes off and get out there. Mm -hmm. Not six times. Not five times. That's right. Seven times. Amen. 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 It takes humility. Because everybody else is watching mm -hmm. yeah. their God, mm -hmm. the leader of the army, mm -hmm. 
reporting to a servant boy that came out, yeah. and now he's swimming <laughs> in the river. So this takes humility, yes, yeah. does. doesn't it? Yeah. To lower yourself, that I, all your men are watching. He didn't go by himself, brother and sister. This man had a, a small army with him. Yeah. Yeah. So all, now all his people are watching him get out naked, I guess naked, get out in the river, in the dirty river, yeah. and dunk seven times. Yep. Amen. Amen. It takes humility. Yes, it does. Put down the flesh, put down your ego, yes. and stop. So he went down and dipped seven times in the Jordan, according to the saying of the man of God. And the flesh was what? Restored, Restored like the flesh of a little child. Amen. And he was what? Clean. Clean. All of a sudden, he's changed. Yes. A minute ago, a little bit ago, he's upset. But when you got your miracle, yeah. what do you become? Grateful. Yes. You become grateful. Yes. Gratefulness is humility. Yes. I'm grateful. Yes. I'm grateful. Yes. I mean, he got his life back. Yes. He was going to be cast out. Because yes. it gets to a point where he can't manage it, they'll get rid of you. Because yes. you, 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 you'll infect everybody else. Right. Right. They get rid of you. So his life was on the line, and he almost robbed himself. How many times have Christians robbed yeah. their blessing because of their ego? Yeah. Because of pride yeah. and robbed them of what God had for them. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And he returned to the man of God and all his aides and came and stood before him mm -hmm. and said, Indeed, now I know that there is no God in all the earth except in Israel. Now, therefore, please take a gift from your servant. Mm -hmm. So all of a sudden, he's really humbled himself yeah. Yeah. because he realized humility got his healing. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Every time I read this, I, 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 I always apply myself to it. I say, Father, if there's anything in my life, I ask you to show me because I do not want to have any pride in my life. I don't want to no. assume that I'm better than somebody, assume anything. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it can sometimes be a natural thing that our church is better than the church down the street. Yeah. Isn't that true? I mean, because yeah. we love our churches, yeah. and yeah. we believe that we all go to the best church. Yeah. I mean, this is the best church, but you know what? My church is pretty good, too. <laughs> <laughs> and so we can develop a pride issue based on our revelation. Yeah. Right? Yeah. There's churches, they don't get the revelation that we do. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And they don't know the things we do. Yeah. But we almost judge them because of their lack of revelation. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they don't do this. Well, they don't do that. Right. You better shut up. Yeah. Yeah. You better shut up. Yeah. I don't judge another church. Mm -hmm. Now, I used to have thoughts, you know, well, yeah. our church is better. They don't do things. Right? I said, and the Lord really dealt with me. Yeah. Yeah. And I said, you know what? I'm done having an, an opinion right. about another ministry. Yeah. Yes. I'm done yes. having another opinion about a church. Yes. I don't know what God told them. Right. Right. God may have told them to get a smoke machine. I don't know. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and it's not my business. Because right. God didn't tell me to get a smoke machine. It's true. Yeah. Right. Maybe he told me to get, you know, a, a lottery thing out front. I don't know. Yeah. But he didn't tell us that. But you know what? That's not my business. Yeah. It's not your business. What else is going on in the body of Christ? What, what should you do? Mind your own business. Mind your own business. Because if they're not doing things to the word of God, do you think there's judgment for that person? Yes. There's judgment. There's judgment. And it's not my place to judge. And I don't want to be part of the judgment deal. The Bible is, is very stern about judging other people. And you may do it kind of passively, but really you have a, a tweak yeah. about you. Yeah. Well, that church, you know. I'm not going to say anything, but you know. They're, they're, they're off. Well, they're off. I'm just going to say that. What is that? It's fine. We're better. But do you believe that there's people in that church that are maybe hungry for the Word of God? Yes. They're hungry. Maybe they were driving home one day, and that's the first billboard they saw was that church. And they went there. Because they didn't see your billboard. That's right. They saw someone else's billboard. Yeah. Yeah. And they needed help in their life. Yeah. I believe there's hungry people in yeah. this church. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And it's not my place to criticize because they're doing whatever. Mm -hmm. It's not my business. Yeah. So I don't do that anymore. Amen. 
I don't know what God told him. You don't know what the right. what God told that pastor. You don't know what he. You didn't hear from God for him. Right. Yeah, that's right. But they elect a new pastor every couple of months. Then, then you know what? They let them do whatever they do. Yeah. Okay. That's between them and God. Yeah. You run your own race. Yeah. Shut your pie hole and do what God told you to do. Yeah. Amen. And when you can learn this, when you can learn that, God can use you in a greater way. Amen. Because maybe someday that church down the street may call Pastor Jeff and say, you know what? I need what you got. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But if we slander the church down the street and it gets back to the pastor, yeah. call Pastor Jeff. I heard y'all talk bad about me. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's good. But maybe one day they get to a spot and say, you know what? I need you in my life. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I need what you have. I see you guys got something. Yeah. Yeah. And we need to be ready to help these people. Amen. Yeah. That's what Jesus did. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, That's went to uh, the tax collector. Remember, he said, I'm going to your house today. And everybody said, why are you going to his house today? Zacchaeus. And all of, it, all of a sudden, Zacchaeus changed. And he said, if I've done anybody wrong, right. yeah. Yeah. I want to make it right. Yeah. Yeah. Just by being, because Jesus could have made it worse and said, you're a thief. Yeah. And you robbed these people. Yeah. That's right. You've done that thing. He said, no, I'm going to come to your house. That's right. And in that, yeah. everybody all of a sudden got blessed. Yeah. Yeah. Because That's good. his heart changed. That's yeah. good. And he yeah. said, I'm going to give back everything that I've taken Amen. from you. Yeah. That's yeah. good. Why? That's because good. Jesus showed mercy. Yeah. He showed love. Yeah. And everybody bended from it. Yeah. And they didn't understand it. Just because you don't understand doesn't mean you got to know and you got to have an opinion about That's it. Right. Amen. Right. Come on. Everybody's got an opinion. Yeah. It's like rear ends. Everyone's got one, but thinks the other person stinks more than their own. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is that not true? That's true. So you got to be careful. <laughs> you like that one. <laughs> so it's important that we don't have opinions about the body of Christ. I mean, are we all trying to accomplish the same thing? Yeah. Okay? Yeah. There's some people, yes, they are using the gospel for their own benefit. But there's judgment for that. Come on. Now. Is there not? Yes. So we don't need to be part of that judgment no, seat in right. that same thing coming back on us. Yeah, there's amen. people that, that they do pro, uh, um, prostitute the anointing. Yes. Right. But you know what? I don't want any part of that. Yeah. Now, there is uh, generals in the body of Christ that are put to address those things, but more than likely, it's not you. That's right. And it's not me. And I don't want any part of that judgment system. I don't even like already going down to the courthouse, let alone being on, on the judgment of God. Get yourself corrected now. Stop it now. How long does it take for you to stop something? Now. Now. Amen. <laughs> you know, when people say, well, I'm going to start my diet tomorrow. <laughs> you know, you don't have to start a diet tomorrow. You know when you can start it? Now. Right now. You don't have to wait till tomorrow. Right. You don't have to stop complaining next week. Oh, you can stop right now. <laughs> That's really good. Amen. You don't have to do those things you were doing. Well, it's going to take me time. It's going to take me time. No. Right now. It's not going to take you time to get stop being mean. That's right. You can stop being mean right now. That's good. Amen. Amen. Y'all be in hell. Yes. I'm going to shut up now. That's good. That's good. Amen. Amen. Brother and sister, when, when you get before God and you close your eyes and just shut up and say, Father, then you say, Father, just, I need your correction. Yeah. I need your correction because correction equals completion. That's good. Yeah. That's good. That's good. That's good. And when you want correction, when you're hungry for correction, God can use you. Yeah. Amen. It's the people that say, you know what, I already know what I'm doing. I already know. I already know. Those are the people that God's not using. He can't do anything with. Yeah. God is looking for humble people. The disciples got an earload of correction. Yeah. I mean, they got rebuke. Yeah. Yes. I mean, Amen. Uh, that that one thing about the little boy that had seizures. They came to him later and said, why couldn't we do it? And he said, because you lack unbelief. And they'd been fighting, and they had been debating amongst another, 
Who's the great? Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they, they, they were all, and the 12 of them saying, you know what? I'm kind of better than you, actually, now that you say that. I know that one boy got healed under you, but you know that one lady that had the, the crippled leg? Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, that, that happened under my ministry. Jesus is all praying, and here they are, breaking bread, and kind of like, hey, I was doing a little bit better than you today. I had more success. Oh, really? You? It's about you? Yeah. You had success? You uh, healed them? Uh, no. 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 Right. You didn't heal anybody. Yeah. You didn't heal anybody. Right. And Jesus perceived that they'd been having this conversation. Yeah. He ain't going to say it to the face. You know, Jesus, not, you know, they're out to fight amongst Jesus. They know they're already going to get rebuked, so we're going to wait until it leaves. Yeah. You know, but Jesus knows what's going on. He knows they've been fighting and arguing. Who's right. the greatest? That's a dirty word. I'm, yeah. I, you know, something inside of you. Who's telling you that? Yeah. You're the greatest. Yeah. You're better than they are. Uh -oh. This is the trick of the enemy. Yes. 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 Well, I'm yeah. a better Christian. Yeah, you're a better Christian. You're better than them. Mm -hmm. No, you're not. Mm -hmm. You're not better. No. We're all called on the same level. Yes, We're yeah. all called to help people. Yeah. This is why I do believe not a lot of unsaved people have seen real Christians. That's right. Right. Yeah. And that's a shame. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. There's always going to be those people that pro that prostitute the anointing. Mm -hmm. There's always going to be those false people. There's all, there's going to be people that just do it for money. Mm -hmm. But it's not my business. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. I work Amen. for the Almighty. I know Pastor Jeff does. Amen. The Millers do. Amen. And it's important, brother and sister, that 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 we humble ourselves before God. Yeah. I encourage you go home and shut up and sit down yeah. and say, Father, help me. I ask you to show me because I need things to happen in my life. I, you, know, you know, I've got stuff in my body, Father, that are not right. And I ask you to show me, to humble me in the Word of God. Show me what I need to change. And I can get, I can tell you, within a couple minutes, you're gonna get some revelation. And it's up to you whether you want to hear it or not. Yeah. And if you heard the things you don't want to hear, then that's good. <laughs> that's the right thing is going on. Yeah. Not the wrong thing, yeah. but the right thing. Okay, okay, all right. I'm moving on. Okay, this is Jesus. These are scriptures in the Bible that that proclaim healing for us. I'm just gonna read some of them. It's like a hundred and something. I'm not gonna read them all. I will satisfy you with long life. Amen. I send my word and heal you and deliver you from destruction. You shall uh, not die but live and declare my works. The years of your life shall be many. The joy, uh, my joy is your strength. A merry heart does good like a medicine. I give power to the faint. I increase strength to them that have no might. I renew your strength with strength and, and I help you. I bore your sicknesses. I carried your pains. Yes. With my stripes, you are healed. I will heal you. Seek, seek me and you shall live. Yes. I bore your sicknesses. I heal all manner of sickness and all manner of disease. Yes. Including that stupid corona. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Manner of disease, according to your faith, yes. yeah. be it unto you. Yeah. I give you power and authority over unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal all manner of sickness and all manner of disease. That says he gives us the power. Yes. Healing is the children's bread. I, I can, uh, if you can believe all things are possible to him that believes. When hands are laid on you, you shall recover. Yes. I heal all those that need, have need of healing. Behold, I give you authority over the enemy's power, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Sickness is satanic bondage, and you ought to be loose today. I am the bread of life. I give you life. The words speak unto you, spirit and life. I come that you may might, might have life. And to have it more abundantly. You know abundantly, you can't live a full life without financial help either. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Abundance is part yes. yeah. with prosperity. Yeah. Yeah. It's not just help. Right. You can't do anything for God if you ain't got no money. That's you right. can't go anywhere if you don't have any money. That's right. You 
can't bless anybody if you don't have money. If you ask anything in my name, according with the word of God, I will do it. Faith in my name makes you strong and gives you perfect soundness. I do good and I heal all that, that are oppressed with the devil. My power cures disease to depart from you. I am the, uh, the Lord that healeth thee. I take sickness from the midst of you. The number of your days shall be fulfilled. I will, I will not put any of these diseases that you are afraid of on you, but take sickness from a, a, away from you. I have turned the curse into a blessing unto you because I love you. I have redeemed you from every sickness and every plague. I give you strength and bless you with peace. I preserve and keep you alive. Is that not enough, brother and sister? Amen. Declare that healing is for us. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Now, if you need hands on lay, laid on you tonight, if you did what I asked you to do this afternoon, then we are going to have results. Amen. Yes. Amen. So I don't know if you guys want to come up and play the organ or something. <laughs> And if you need healing, please come up and line up on the front. Hallelujah. He's a healing Jesus. He's a healing Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise you, Father. Praise you, Father. Why don't we go ahead and stand and just worship God for a minute. Father, we worship you. We praise you, Father. We thank you for your word. You have been so good, Father. Oh, we thank you, Father, for healing in our lives. We thank you, Father, that you have healed us. And tonight, Father, we claim it now. We love you, Father. We thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Praise you, Father. We worship you. We praise you. We praise you. We praise you. Hallelujah. Praise you, Father. We worship you. We praise you, Father. We worship you. We praise you, Father. We praise you, Father. We worship you. We thank you, Father. We praise you, Father. We glorify you. You are good, Father. You're so good to us, Father. We thank you, Father, that you have taken sickness from away from us. We don't have to live sick. We don't have to live hurt. We praise you for it, Father. And we thank you for it, Father. All right, everybody up here say, when hands are laid on me, I shall be healed in Jesus' name. 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 We thank you, Father, that we need full restoration. That there is things, Father, in heaven. And we declare it now, Father, we thank you, Father, that this chair is cursed and we don't want any part of it and we declare full restoration in Jesus name heal hallelujah praise God have y'all been blessed one thing about the word of God I don't know everything I don't know everything but that's okay. Your hunger for God, just because you don't understand things, doesn't mean you get to quit or give up. We have to still press in. I don't understand, but but when when you press into God, He'll reveal things. I mean, I heard Brother Copeland, he was in the back room talking, and he said that there was some things. I mean, the man's been in the ministry, it seems like, forever. And he said he was going to Brazil, and there was some things that he didn't understand he was really seeking God about it. And he said when he got down there, God revealed some things to him. 
And I thought, you know what? Here's a, a man of God. And he still doesn't understand everything. And that's okay. But he continues to press in and he gets his answer. So if you need so if you are going to be pressing in, continue. Continue in. Humble yourself before God. And he's going to give you answers. Amen. Amen. Every answer that I've had right now, I am asking him about a couple things. I haven't got the answer, but I know I will. Amen. 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 Uh, the Miller kids, I want to bless you too. Morgan, would you come? Oh, okay. Oh, you're fine. Father, we thank you for that healing anointing that's going into this closet and driving out sickness and disease. In Jesus' precious name, the blood was shed that we may be healed. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. Father, we, we thank you, Father, for this family. I worship you, and I thank you, Father, for this wonderful family that you have put into my life and put into the Dufresne's life. And, Father, and I know that the covenant that we have with these people, anything that I have that they need, Father, I ask you to give it to them. And, Father, I ask you to open up their minds and their spirits to new revelation to have a new hunger for you, to, un to see the word and to decipher the word in a way they've never done before. And Father, we thank you for this family. I am so grateful for these young people. In Jesus' name, amen. Bless in Jesus' name. Bless Cameron in Jesus' name. Bless in Jesus' name. Blessed in Jesus' name. Blessed him in Jesus' name. Blessed Jim in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Praise you, Father. Hallelujah. Is God good? Yes. He's good. Will you help today? I've enjoyed being with you guys so much. Thank you, Pastor allowing me to come and impart to your church. It's such a, such a blessing. I don't never take it for granted. Thank it's you. such a blessing. I want you to know um, thank you for having me. And uh, I believe you're different. Yes. I believe that you won't be the same. Amen. 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 Thank you all. I love you all. Please go to the book table and uh, clear the thing out. <laughs> love you guys. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord.